big body positivity to the classroom. Yes, the Food for Thought project aims to highlight the dangers of social media and unhealthy relationships in, with food. And it launched today at Newark College. And one campaigner from Lincoln who suffered with an eating disorder for 15 years says having access to a similar scheme would have been a game changer. Amelia Beckett reports. Zoe was just 13 years old when she started to become obsessed with counting calories and exercise. She says it began as a way of controlling other aspects of her life, but it would take 15 years before she was ultimately diagnosed with atypical anorexia because her weight never dropped below the normal BMI range. It wasn't until my heart started to fail, kept passing out, my body was physically giving up. But it's not just the physical side effects, it was the mental torments that was going on in my head. The constant thought of food, calories, weight, shape, perfectionist thinking styles. Over the years, Zoe found the development of social media only made her condition worse, particularly after becoming a new mum. The pressure on young women to bounce back, to get your body back after having a child is phenomenal. If you scroll through social media, the way the algorithms work is it then thinks that's what you're interested in. So as you like and follow and click, the more that algorithm works, and before you know it, that is all you are seeing. At Newark College today, it was exactly that issue which formed the crux of a brand new project. These students are normally training to be pilots and engineers, but today they were learning about how to have a healthier relationship with food and themselves. You see some girls and they're really, really pretty, but they face tune their face so much they just don't look they the feel same. Like they, they feel like they have to though. I yeah. feel, like, feel like they have to because everyone else is doing it and it's now the new normality. It, it has a huge influence on people's lives because what they see is what they think is real and it's our job to work with them to tell them it's not always real. The project is the brainchild of Bailey Greetham Clark who used his own experiences to help create food for thought. So everything's fake these days, but if we don't understand it's fake, then we're being brainwashed from a young age and we're growing up to try and look like these people, think like these people, and ultimately we're causing a massive strain on the mental health of the UK. A strain Zoe dealt with for years and now understands the impact education can have. Oh, to have learned that editing does exist, to be reminded that we are all different, and isn't that amazing, would have definitely helped years and years of struggling and suffering. And that's the lesson taught here today, with the aim of changing attitudes in the future. Amelia Beckett, ITV News, Newark. Such an important lesson being taught there at Newark College. And if you've been affected by any of the issues in Amelia's piece, you can find support on our website. That's, of course, itv.com forward slash calendar. And the ITV Evening News continues.